I teach survival uh, on the land mainly, right from setting up the camp to fishing to hunting to trapping to language, uh, all mixed in one. Started out with uh, my brothers and sisters, my children and my nieces and nephews and other kids from the community the uh, my children bring out their friends and they come with us depends on what time of the year we're going out that depends on what I'll be teaching based on the time of year it means um you're from here you belong here Knowledge is going to be passed on to you in order for you to maintain the heritage and culture of our way. For me, my year starts in the fall. That's when it's like the beginning. I fly out in the fall time and then we stay out for at least two months. In that time, uh, I start prepping for trapping. I work on uh, the camp and a lot of wood and a lot of fishing. Once trapping starts, I'll start trapping. Uh, I'm, I'm always having children with me pretty much every day, whether it be an older son or a younger daughter. So as I'm going through the day, maybe checking nets or setting traps i'm explaining all this in our native language it's lots to do with uh, health eat properly why a lot of wild food teach them about uh, like medicine or how to treat wounds um, how to treat burns how to get dirt out of your eyes so it's lots with safety. When the trapping starts, we're continuously sharpening our axes and cleaning the traps to make it snap quicker, more hair triggered. So there's lots of danger to it. At the same time, as you're heading out to trap, it's early in the fall. You gotta test all ice on the lakes, creeks, uh, you're cleaning stumps off the road so you don't just to be cautious. By the end of the day we gotta put up another tent. So that's that's pretty much how we're doing our thing from September to December. After December we come back to town and then uh, we started hunting, hunt for moose, caribou. You always have to search for it, the numbers are fewer. So once we find tracks, we'll set up a camp and then start tracking whatever we're hunting, moose or caribou. I teach my children about using firearms. I start them out from about five, six years old. I'll, uh, I'll wound a moose or a caribou. And then uh, I let the child finish the animal off. And then it starts to the butchering, respecting the animal and his blood, um, explaining why. Butchering the animal in a traditional way, it, it comes out in a whole bunch of different parts. Um, once we get home, we'll make dry meat and separate all the joints and layers of meat for roasting or boiling, uh, making dry meat. I name all the parts of the animal in the language, whether it be the ribs, heart, brains, it all 
the whole animal has a native name to it. Uh, intestines, everything. And then it goes on until about April. Uh, we do uh, beaver, beaver traps, rat traps. When the water starts flowing, then we'll shoot rats and beavers. We do this until mid-June, beginning of June. And then when the ice is gone in the summer, we start fishing. Uh, whitefish, trout. The trout, we fillet it, we debone it, we store it away. And all whitefish, we make straight dry fish. We hunt for moose in the summer again, July and August. We usually get uh, at least two moose in that time. To preserve the meat in the warm weather, that has to be taught to. And then it starts all over again, back into the fall. I teach it because it's what I'm most experienced in. And there seems to be a battle with the lands and the governments and the aboriginal people and it's to show our heritage, our culture, that we were here, we'll always be here. You need to know how to survive uh, in the environment, so that is why I teach my children and other youth. For most of us, education is a big problem, it's a big issue throughout the north. I was never too good at it, so I've always been on the land, so it's, it's where I feel like I have my education. I see what's going on in the schools with the education, and they're, they're way back. They're having a lot of trouble, and they got to have a way out to take care of themselves, like because they're not going to make it in the modern world, so this is a way for them to continue and know how to take care of themselves. More teaching on language and more teaching in craftsmen, crafts, uh, snowshoes, and ice chisels, uh, all the tools that you need, like uh, clothes, proper clothing. So you need like moose hide, and it takes uh, a certain amount of skill to do stuff like that so it's kind of fading uh, it needs to be picked up on more